What is going on, everyone? We are back with another music reaction. I'm Depraved. I'm Hellcat. Together we are... Hello, Depraved. Yes, we are. And we're yes. super excited. Uh, I'm not wearing my Echo hat for this Echo reaction. It's actually in the bedroom. It's a special hat that he rarely wears because it's signed. Right. I've worn out of the, the house man, once. The legend himself. Right. Um, and I think I've worn it for one reaction video. Well, probably, you'll probably wear it to the concert. Yes. Which we will be attending. Yes. The end first of October. Yeah, end of October. So, it's so we've got one concert in two weeks. Mm hmm. And then we've got, and that's at the end of September, we've got Echo and Webby. End of October. End of October. Early November, we've got Ice Nine Kills and In This Moment. So. I'm so excited. I'm we have such a good so lineup. Um, such a good lineup. I'm going to Great concert stuff. Super So fun. excited. A little now, bummed because we bought an extra ticket I was for just this gonna, show. I was going to say it wasn't so much that I'm bummed that we have the extra ticket. I'm bummed that we can't take our daughter to see Echo. Because we, we bought an extra ticket to take our daughter, and then she's not old enough to get in. We didn't know it was 21 in an older place, so yeah, yeah. Uh, but if you're an indie, loved. let us know. Yeah. You need to take it, yes. Anyway, anyways, super excited for this. So, uh, we love Echo, and I am just excited to hear some new Echo, newer Echo. It's like right. two weeks old now. Trauma, trauma, as requested by Andrea. All right, which I would have wanted to hit, anyways. Let's get it. I'm gonna. Maybe I just feel the shit more than most Maybe I've been trying to find my way out of this hole Haven't talked to mom, it's been a year for all I know she could be dead And I'd be lying if I said there ain't relief in thinking that Love has been Thank you for somebody else saying it I get evil looks all the time I, I, I don't say that about my mom, I say that about my dad My dad For the last five years But for, not in a lack of not caring but relief and so for those of you that don't know my dad passed away uh december of last year and i talked to him once a year maybe twice for up to 10 years before that and a lot of it was he was an alcoholic and huge into church and I was absolutely dreading hour to two hour long conversations about how my relationship with Christ is. The combination of the two just leads to a lot of preaching. As everybody knows, and, it doesn't have to be religious. Alcoholics always have a lecture to give on something or another. Right. My dad is one. Yeah. Um, and there was a long period of time where I had actually thought, I wonder if my dad's even alive. No, I don't. <laughs> right, right. Um, and actually, I'm glad everything turned out the way that it did. My mom ended up moving in with my dad. and For the last year. For the last yeah, year to year, year and, and a half, half yeah. that he was around. Um, so he had somebody, we had somebody that we, uh, we, we did speak to your dad more often, yeah. you know. But yeah. I've been there. I've definitely yeah. been there in terms of. I've been there. I am there. I'm there right now. Just, uh, again, not with my mom. Right. My mom's a pretty cool lady. Yeah. Been a year for all I know she could be dead And I'd be lying if I said there ain't relief in thinking that Love has been a delicate dance and never learn well Don't know how to act, having money, I never earn well Feels like if I don't fuck it up, then the world will Did all that I set out to do, why do I hurt still? It seems the further I get, the more I close Walls off to anybody who wants to know me Outside of this persona crowder, I try to show I could post a reel, but it's probably the furthest from real, yo It isn't all about the numbers and the glitz And we always say what life ain't, but don't know what it is I don't know what I'm chasing or trying to prove. Put another bandage on a bullet hole to fix the wound. Just consume it. Oh, I love this song. Mm. One of my favorites from Echo already. I, will... I mean, honestly, you don't need to post a reel to be real if uh, you're making I, music like this. I am somebody that keeps people at a distance to an extent. Obviously, we do YouTube. We talk a lot about ourselves. Uh, yeah, but that doesn't mean channel. that we bring people close. No, it doesn't. There's there's a vast difference um, between being truthful and... Yeah, but a lot of that is us opening up about our thoughts. Mm -hmm. And you learn a lot about people by 
yeah. hearing how they speak on things. And I, I, I mean that as somebody who over observes everything in terms of what people say. I overanalyze what people say to me. But that's what I was going to say is the two of us may, but a lot of people will just listen to what we have to say and be like, oh, they're funny um, or they're funny. yeah funny looking. And, and even, in, even in music, like he had mentioned something about putting walls up and mm-hmm. even that can speak volumes to people and, right. and, and let people know a little bit more about you than what you think you're letting people know. Um, it's also all psychological. <laughs> but, I mean, it's, like, to I'm be... I'm not going to say psychoanalyze the situation, but... To be fair, he also stated that, like, the, the further up he goes, the more walls he has. And you I, I, I think you have to, you because have to. everybody and their brother assumes that they know you when you're uh, social media presence... Or wants to know you even more, and you you have to have you, some guards. Well, you start off independent, like like Echo and so many have, right? Um, and, and you get those early fans, and you kind of adopt those early fans into your family because right. they're the ones that are supporting loyal. you starting off. They're the loyal ones. But it seems like the bigger you get, the more a lot of those early fans start to expect from you. Whether it's conversation through Twitter, yeah. Whether it's, what do I get as a reward? What do I get as a reward for being your day one supporter? Right. Um, I hate that mentality. By it's the way, it's not just those people though. Again, it's because you're a social media presence. People assume that they know you and that you know you should be available right. for them. And uh, you know, I mean, when we aren't recording or doing a live stream. I dip, guys. Like, I go social media entirely because I can't handle the intrusiveness. Right. Like, I choose what days I respond to my best friends. And and that's just because I'm that introverted. And it's, it's, right. it's too much. So <laughs> I, I completely get it. Plus, like we were talking in the last song that we just recorded... The whole like no, mentality no, of no, no, things have been going so great. No, when does the the shoe drop? No, I I definitely have that. I'm I'm not a pessimist anymore, but I am a realist, and there is always that niggling in the back of my brain that's like, when is that rainy day coming? Right. But I'm chasing a train to prove. Put another bandage on a bullet hole to fix the wound. Just consumed with these thoughts, trying to fight them off. I quit the drugs, but the biggest addiction's that in a dialogue. The vulnerability, the path, the real connection. But I'm stressed, and I don't want to open up to anybody, especially those I have to trust. I've been burned already once, twice, fucking a hundred, but always thought that was a normal life. Because it's normal, right? For you to grow up thinking you're the only one you can depend on after all these nights alone. Police on the phone, either brother suicide attempts or your mom's overdosed. Four deaths came and went Either disappeared or died from the bottle They were sinking in Even then, you still justify it like it's okay Being ignored and when you do well, you feel ashamed Cause they got real problems, how the fuck do you complain? Now if someone says you're important, you just pull away I know the trauma isn't always how the big things affected The silent little cuts in the soul that get neglected Piled up and collected, why you didn't pay attention And expected to be dealt with But instead they just became the foundation that you built on The blueprint is still wrong Like why the fuck I act this way? I didn't realize I'm like a walking pattern I'll never solve Wrecking ball, destroying anybody who gets involved It doesn't always show in obvious ways Hides underneath the surface, slowly causing a change And it's hard to see the way it influenced your shape When it's not the brush or the canvas or the colors It's the way you paint Always thought I was a hopeless case But it's the programming I was programmed with to keep me safe but Safety doesn't always leave room to grow When you only feel safe in this world alone That's abandonment, and I still can't admit The shit that happened as a kid might have played the big his hand in this how i carve pride out of the fact i had to do this on my own but it's the only way i can it's the only way i'm comfortable i dress it up and market it the more i represent it the more these people applauding it the more i get applauded the more i get that conviction but the love for what i do doesn't fix what i was missing just hoping that somebody would notice and they would ask how i'm doing but they didn't so i put it in these raps but wanted someone to listen wanted someone to care didn't get it at home so i searched in a career and my life got caught up thinking that i thought up these thoughts that i've got to stop it's all trauma. It's all trauma. It's 
I had chills that that entire last batch there and um i i couldn't pause it i yeah no. i was soaking it in the uh the silent cut bar the silent cut bar and then the the next one that really got me was his whole uh painting analogy and it's the way that you paint because i i do actually paint it's one of my hobbies and um yeah there's there's a lot of things what? It's all trauma. It's all trauma. Yeah, uh, I am an introvert. Oh. Have been, always have been. I do know that much. However, I will give you that, like, the way that I <laughs> perceive the world, yeah. the, the responses, the mechanisms that Thank I have, it, it came from trauma. The couch. Um, uh-huh. Now, there is a healthy way to cope with trauma, and there is coping mechanisms. And there's a difference. I'm sorry. I just seen something. So, I mean, yes, trauma is absolutely going to shape you. Absolutely. It is one of life's biggest learning lessons. It's everything you learn, you learn from trauma. Trauma is not always necessarily negative. It's... It is a lot of times. Do not get me wrong. And it's not to take anybody's trauma lightly or anything like that. It, I guess it all depends on how you push yourself from it. Well, but that's that's what I'm it. saying is like there are healthy coping mechanisms and right. then there are just coping mechanisms. And if you're just putting a, a bandage over a bullet wound, it, it's not a, a healthy way to deal with it. Um, but the way that your brain actually is chemically rewired from trauma uh, it, it leads the rest of your life whether you deal with it well or not so well that's all i'm saying the the, the silent cuts thing is, is i think i feel like the, the, the that section of the song um was kind of what got me it's <sighs> one of the hardest things about being a parent is uh not traumatizing your kids. Right. I don't mean that in a horror, scare them type of sense. I mean that in a literal. Um, no, we, we carry the sins of our parents and we try not to make the same ones. But oh, that doesn't mean that or, we're not making different you know, different if you notice ones. that you're making mistakes in life, you try and fix them yourself. Stuff yeah. Stuff like that. Um, I was, I won't say I was an absent father for most of my kids' life, but I wasn't an active father. In most of my kids' lives. As as our daughter falls out of the car <laughs> to the floor in a fit of giggles. Right. Um, there was a right. lot of, because I worked nights, there was a lot of, they would come over for the weekends. I would sleep the entire time they were awake because I worked nights. Right. Um, they would go to bed. I'd be up all night playing video games. It completely different schedules as it was the problem, yeah. And that was a lot of the time they came to spend with me. I never took them out to do things with really. me. I, I would occasionally if I had a chance. Um, well, you also worked weekends. I, I think that should be stated. Is you know. I just still worked. There wasn't yeah. worked weekends. Work worked weekdays. Just work. I just worked. Um, yeah. And then relationships that kind of got in the middle of me and my kids that shouldn't have. I think that happens for a lot of separated parents. Um, bad one though. Not. I'm not saying. Like. Yeah. It was. It was not a healthy thing for the kids. Um. Or myself, for that matter. But. And, you know, as as parents, we try to learn from those things, and, and I'm trying to do what I can. I will smack a child. Hmm. I see you. Right. You best be cleaning that up well, miss. Bang. Um, but, you know, trying to do everything that we can 
uh, or what I can specifically. I think, I think uh, he made her spit out chocolate milk, so that's, to, that's fun. To make up for it. Uh, I also think that that part was incredibly relevant to you because one thing that you have spoken about a fair amount is that you have a very hard time reaching out to people when you're depressed. And it's not because you're depressed that is the mechanism. The mechanism is you don't want to depress other people. You don't want to give them your load to carry. It's it's one of the reasons... Aside from how I feel and, and what I go through with depression, one of the things I have a hard time with are outspoken people that are depressed. And when I mean that, I mean people that are like, that just come to you saying, hey, I'm depressed, this is going on. Because anyone I've ever known personally that has uh, taken themselves away from life's equation, um, or anyone that I've personally known, personally known to be depressed, they don't talk about it. Folds in. It is. It is something. It's always. We never knew they yeah. felt like that. Right. That is the most common thing I always hear. So, and I'm not saying that there aren't exceptions. I'm not right. saying that it isn't the case in other ways. Right. But in terms of, it's hard for me when people come to me because I don't want to talk about my problems. Right. With anybody. Right. <laughs> Honestly, but that's also not the timing. That's when you're that's when you're sitting there for that person. Please yeah, please not don't info dump in people's that. streams, guys, with, yeah. with your problems. And I don't mean that to be negative. Right. It, it's just But if if you if you if people are writing a vibe and everybody's in a good mood and you're having a bad time and you come It's in, not even that, it's just not the place. It's, it's, not the it's place. really not the place. Um because you're going to get a lot of negative attention too and it, it you don't need that if you're if you're actually experiencing it what i was going to say is that uh the tribe that i've developed my two best friends uh i definitely will tell them i'm feeling some kind of way but the two of them come from backgrounds of extreme trauma too and i think for us the three of us that was kind of important cuz all of us withdraw for sure but um I think the three of us got past that whole idea of their problems must be more exceptional than mine. And therefore, I should just be happy with my lot. Or I should keep this to myself because I don't need to burden them. I use, or, I use other people's problems as motivation to not give up. Yeah. Is, is my mentality. I don't think of it as like it's any worse, any better, anything like that. I see other people going through things that I feel like I don't know if I can handle it as well as they do. Right. And I'm like, okay, well, if I'm they can try that, yeah, if they can handle things. that that well, I can figure something out to handle my problems better. Right. Right. It's what I try to do. It, right. It usually works for me. But. So find a good tribe. You know. I mean it. it but yeah, one way or another, it's all trauma. One way or another. That's a weird song you. to mix gonna with get this. You, get you, get you. Oh, sorry. That's I weird. really liked this song, though. Really liked this song. Lots of relevance here. All right. Love you guys. And you we'll guys, see you in a month. If you guys liked the video, slash the like button, subscribe. If you didn't, don't. We don't care. We just hope we made your day a little bit better. We love you guys. We'll see you next time. <gasps> Bye-bye.